this video is in response to a person who was stuck on building an HTML5 photo gallery. So I'm going to make this as simple as possible. Now, technically, you can put this any place on your site. We're going to make this so simple. It's frighteningly simple. How to do a dynamic photo gallery inside a Dreamweaver using widgets. So I have no style sheets. I have nothing on the page. All I did was save the file. I simply go to insert widget and I picked lightbox widget. I'm just going to go totally default here. Lightbox widget. If you don't have the lightbox widget, you select widget browser and go get the free lightbox widget. You hit OK. You save the file. Once you save the file, it's going to put all the CSS and graphics needed to create this file. So file, save, save, file. It created these CSS and Lightbox files that you can adjust. Now, obviously, you don't want to put the generic photos there. So you simply go to your code and you swap out the files that it did for placeholder and you put in your files. So you simply follow the setup here. So inside the images folder, it put demo one, demo two. You simply swap out this for your files and it creates a dynamic HTML photo gallery. So if we go ahead and publish this to the server, so publish to the server, dependent files, yes. The CSS is dependent, the JavaScript is dependent, the graphics are dependent. Let's take a second. So if I click here, now in this particular case, very important step here. In this particular case, it did not upload the graphics folders. It didn't upload the folders for the photos themselves. So how do we fix that? Well, what we need to do here, well, this folder here was not considered a dependent file. So we need to select the folder that is just created and simply upload the file, Command Shift U for Macintosh, Control Shift U for Windows. So this folder, which contains the graphics, obviously you put in your files. So you put in the thumbnails, you put in your thumbnails inside the folder, you put your original files inside the folder. So therefore, when I go to the e file again and I reload the file, so there's my simple photo gallery. If I click right here, there's my photo. So I can go to the next photo, previous photo. So there's previous photo, previous photo, previous photo, previous photo. So this is totally 100% CSS based. So you can change the color, the positioning, the size inside your CSS palette, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is the simplest, simplest way to create a dynamic photo gallery. Enjoy.